Hi, this is James from Square Internet with another WordPress tutorial. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a footer menu on your WordPress website. Creating a footer menu is actually fairly simple. It's nothing to be afraid of. And I'm going to show you some simple steps you can take to create and manage footer menus on your website. The first thing to do is log into your WordPress website. If you're not sure how to do that, all that you need to do is navigate to your domain. My domain is sqdevdomain.info and you need to add on forward slash wp admin, wp hyphen admin, sorry, on the ends to get to the login screen for the WordPress dashboard. Once you've logged into the WordPress dashboard, you need to navigate over to appearance menus, which brings you to this screen. So what we're looking at here now is the menu creation screen. I'm going to show you the simple steps you can take to create a footer menu. So right now I have a menu and it's called footer with a few items here. To set this menu to display in the footer, you need to look at the menu settings section on your WordPress website. Uh, specifically display location, so you want to click footer menu and click save. I'm just going to show you now where this is displaying. So this is uh, the home page for this development domain. There's nothing on here. It's using the Visual Composer starter theme, which is a free basic theme with no styling. But as you can see, here's my footer menu. Just to show you how this works from scratch, I'm going to create a new menu for you. I'm going to call it footer menu tutorial, like so. Click on create menu. I'm going to add a couple of links. So when I come down to menu settings, as you can see, I've got the footer menu, which is currently set to display in the footer. But if I click this, it will override it and replace it. So when we click on save menu now, and I refresh the page, this bit here will display link one, link two, link three, showing us that the steps we've taken have worked and we've displayed a new menu in our footer. So if I refresh the page, voila, link one, two, and three. I'm just gonna get rid of this one a second. I'll just show you really quickly the difference between the footer menu and the main menu locations. So I'm going to add the content I had on my original footer menu and just put it where the primary menu goes. Show you the difference. So as you can see, this is now up here in the primary menu. This is down here in the footer menu. So really simple and straightforward. I'll walk you through the steps again quickly give you an overview. You need to come into appearance and menus. Then you need to create a new menu unless you have an existing menu you'd like to display in the footer. You need to check the content of your menu here. You can also move it around, create sub items, sub sub items, move it around up and down as you see fit. When you're ready and happy with the menu, click into the menu settings section Look at the display location and click it to display in the footer. Click save and you're good to go. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. Drop a comment on the video or drop me an email. If there's anything you'd like to see covered in future videos, by all means do let me know. And if I can help you out, I'm happy to. Make sure you subscribe. I'm releasing new WordPress and WooCommerce tutorials aimed at business owners and marketing people every week. And if there is something you'd like to see covered or a video done to help you out, please do let me know. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.